Um, I really enjoyed uh, reading these papers. Uh, I only did, by the way, uh, five lines, okay? So I did um, uh, South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, Mozambique, and Ethiopia, not Nigeria. Nigeria is not being presented here either. So uh, really what, what is coming out you know, throughout these uh, key messages that I was looking for is service, service, service. So um, I, I wanted to say a couple of words about that because uh, especially after you guys da got done with those papers, you know, Africa is actually changing. So the question is in the context of this dominance of service and informality, excuse me, Smudge, uh, what is that we should be doing next? So I will not get into the analytics. I, I, I don't have time for this. So the idea here is that uh, you know, these lines uh, have been uh, growing. And so what are the linkages between growth and employment uh, outcomes? And so there have been um, a detailed analysis. I think one thing that I haven't noticed is, by the way, the link the uh, channels, the channels for linkages between growth and employment uh, outcome. So, um, so looking at the comparative review, uh, I, what I've done is I will have a couple of slides where I mention drivers of growth. So everywhere you go, service shows up. <laughs> and, and then, um, then what are the linkages uh, to employment out outcomes? Um, and then, of course, very interesting analysis in a number of papers on labor market structure. Um, now, in the case of um, service again, looking at South Africa, so one of the challenges there is a uh, highly priced labor demand, right? Um, and then uh, you go to other countries and then get into service and informality, just the opposite. <laughs> Uh, but then, even in South Africa, so the informal sector is, is, is playing a role, and then the government fills in the gap with you know, the, pub, the growing share of employment uh, in the public sector. Um, so, in terms of, kind of being brief, um, so what are the gaps? My sense is that these African lions are inspired by Asian tigers, right? Whoever came up with Af African lions, must be thinking about Asian tigers. I was actually surprised that uh, there was nothing in terms of comparability and the lessons that could be drawn from the Asian tigers in any of these papers. I know that there's something implicit in the case of Ethiopia, and I'll mention, uh, I, think that, I think that moving forward, I think we should really do that. Um, the other is, when you talk about service, it's not one size fits all. You know, you have to disaggregate. So finance shows up, you know, I'm, by the way, I'm a financial economist. I'm very attracted to the fact that finance is showing up. So finance shows up, and then in, in, in the case of um, South Africa, very high priced. And then I think uh, Ghana, you're saying that, um, uh, you know, that it's not producing employment. And I think one of the reasons is that a lot of these countries have very weak, shallow financial sector development. So one of the things I'm going to push for uh, you'd be surprised. One of the things I was pushing for is the whole area of financial sector development, you know, as linked to what you guys are doing. Uh, the other is uh, when I say Africa changing, you know, we have technology. We have this advancing technology. And we have problems which are kind of staggering, you know, and we cannot just proceed with business as usual. And we have to innovate. In fact, Africa is actually innovating. And so the impact of advanced technology is, is, is also important. And then the other is on uh, uh, political economy, you know, the role of the state. Uh, Ethiopia being uh, one here. And, and, then the, and then things that seem to have actually worked and attractive, and then over time, they also started uh, meeting the uh, headwinds. And then lately, then, then, then what I'm going to say then is, uh, you know, who is financing this transformation? You know, who is who's financing this growth? And now uh, it turns out that although we don't, there's no mention of China, China, Africa is big. <laughs> and, and, and China is part of 
this credit base. And the region is facing highly diffused credit base. And now the ARC plenary, you know, forthcoming plenary, uh, we're going to have what they call looming debt crisis. And then this is actually linked, what I call, with some service sectors not being well developed, finance being one of them. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of give you uh, uh, the key messages. And you see the commonality. So take South Africa, service. And then, of course, labor market structure, highly skilled labor demand. Um, and then, of course, when you have a skills mismatch, <laughs> not to actually get into this, then combined, what you create is inequality. And that's, that's, that's what we see in South Africa. And Ghana, again, um, low employment generating sectors, mining, oil, and finance, um, are, uh, are drivers of growth. But the things that you'd expect would have more labor are not going as fast. Um, again, service is a big deal here. Uh, Kenya, yeah, it's the dominance of informal employment. So the thing about service is when the, you have formal service and informal service. And those and the informal service are actually, you know, uh, have the, the low wage, low productivity sectors. So really the, uh, uh, and then of course, Mozambique, it's a different, but it is smallholder farming. Again, um, there's disconnect between high growth and poverty. Uh, declining productivity, by the way, I like the, your decomposition, which actually reform, re, reaffirmed this notion that uh, uh, they're, actually, they're actually declining productivity. And again, service. <laughs> okay. So to me, the, the messages are, 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 are kind of uh, simple. Uh, how, do we, how do we enhance service productivity? How do we transform service? So in the past, we have been arguing that you know, we industrialize, we move from agriculture to manufacturing, and then we get transformed, which is really, and then we say we are being this, this industrialized or whatever. But, but I think that is, to me, uh, is, is a transformation has to occur everywhere. And to me, the bottom line is value creation, you know, value chains in agriculture. So uh, the, the, I think this also came up today with Stigler's uh, talk. Service really played, so moving forward, how are you, how are you going to, uh, uh, now Ethiopia. Yeah, it is one country that uh, seems to have paid attention to the Asian tigers and the state led, um, in fact now they're, they're saying democratic development of the state, but it also has headwinds. You know, the, the, the issues of command mentality and command economy, you, you, know, you know what happened. We have this youth movement. And uh, 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 so we have actually a rise of now, of now new government. So again, so if, if I have to kind of outline, set first, heterogeneous service, okay? And there are those that require high skills and also productivity of specific and then transform, you know, the usual stuff, agriculture. Uh, finance, since I have two minutes, um, and has come up in a very strong way as part of service, what it means to me is that you have to get finance right. If we do not develop financial sector, you're going to be dependent on this credit coming from very diffuse sources, and then we have actually looming debt crisis. Mozambique actually already went through the debt crisis. So um, uh, I have a bunch of slides telling you as to how you <laughs> get finance right, and I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. yeah.